one, this is Midnight Mommy. So, sa tutorial na to, ituturo ko sa inyo kung pa paano gagamitin ang mute and second last sa mga word problems. So, yung mga ilalagay ko rito mga simple word problems lang to kasi meron akong separate video dun sa mga word problems na medyo mahirap for mute and second law. So, 10 kilogram bowling ball would require what force to accelerate down an alleyway at a rate of 3 meters per second square. Okay, so identify muna natin yung given. So, meron tayo ditong mass na 10 kilograms. And then, meron tayong um, acceleration na 3 meters per second squared. So, ang tinatanong dito sa atin is yung force. Okay? So, hindi natin alam kung ano yung value ng force na yun. So, kung gagamitin natin yung equation for Newton's second law, so we can have F net is equal to MA. Yan. So, yung mass natin na 10 kilograms, is substitute lang natin dito. Tsaka yung acceleration na 3 meters per second squared. Yan. So, yung ating force therefore dito is, um, this one is equal to 30. So, yung kilogram, pag minultiply nyo to sa meter per second squared, ang magiging unit nito is actually newton. Yan. So, yung newton, ang tawag natin dyan derived unit. Okay? Kasi it's a combination of different units not coming from a formula. Now, next example. What is the mass of a falling rock if it produces a force of 147 newtons? Okay, so given tayo dyan ng force na 147 newtons. Now remember na dun sa problem, ang pinapahanap sa atin is the mass. And nasabi dyan na yung mass natin, na yung, and nasabi dun sa problem na ang pinapahanap sa atin is yung mass ng falling rock. So falling rock siya. So ibig sabihin, kapag nagpo-fall ang isang object, meron tayong acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so we have here AG na 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, so, ang tinatanong sa atin is the mass. So, kung gagamitin natin yung Newton second law. Okay, so, meron tayong F is equal to MA. So, para masolve yung mass, divide natin both sides of the equation by your acceleration. Yan. Kaya the mass is equal to F over M. So, meron tayong 147 newtons. Divide natin dun sa acceleration due to gravity na 9.8 meters per second squared. And so therefore, yung mass natin, 15 kilograms. Kung nagtataka kayo sa unit, ganito siya. Yung newton natin, di ba, this is equivalent to kilogram meter per second squared. Yan. So, based ito sa equation, makakancel natin yung meter per second squared. Kaya ang may iwan na lang na unit dito is kilograms. So, dito sa last example natin, what is the acceleration of a softball that has a mass of 0 0.5 kilograms and hits the catcher's glove with a force of 25 newtons. Okay, so given tayo sa problem ng mass na 0 0.5 kilograms, and then meron tayong force na 25 newtons. So ang hinahanap natin dito is the acceleration. So again, kung gagamitin natin yung F is equal to MA, so para masolve natin acceleration, divide both sides of the equation by M. Yan. Kaya the acceleration is F over M. So, pag sinabstitute natin to, meron tayong 25 newtons divided by 0 0.5 kilograms. So, yung answer dito is 50 meters per second squared. So, again, kung nagtataka kayo kung paano naging meters per second squared yung unit, so remember, ang newton is kilogram meter per second squared. So, makakancel dito yung kilogram, kaya may iwan ka ng unit na meter per second squared. So sana po nakaturo na malaki ito sa inyo. So doon sa mga medyo mas mahihirap na problems, so magkakaroon ako ng separate video for that. So abangan po ninyo yung mga i-release ko na video para sa Newton Second Law.